Hello everyone, it's your friend Sarmaid here, playing Kingdoms Reborn. This is our Desert Challenge series, our Series 2, Episode 2. Uh, thanks for coming and hanging out with me today, I hope you're doing awesome. In this episode, our plan is going to be focusing on our wood problem. So we have our desert here, so we don't have a whole lot of fertile areas, so we don't have a lot of space for trees. Uh, the place that we do have trees is right here. We have three foresters two foresters right now three i think was uh the plan for this episode as well as moving down further south here so we'll have to claim this province and then i think we'll do this first uh we'll go we have to claim this and then claim this to move around this fashion and i think i'll do a bridge coming down this way and then we can build some more foresters over here as well as move toward the water and put some more fisheries up so that's going to be our building plan. Uh, we are on the edge of our population, so we have a house that is to be built here. And we have a mushroom farm that is nearly completed. So we have a decent start. Uh, woods are one of our biggest problems right now because we're trying to build and expand. Um, right off the bat here, let's go ahead and get these tiles that we were just talking about. Hey, easy peasy with the influence points, that's why I grabbed that right away last time. Uh, another thing that I want to work toward is in the tech tree stuff and things. So we got this basic medicine in the last episode. And I think we're just going to work on this bottom row here. Uh, I will go mushroom log, potato seeds. And we're going to try and get to the irrigation reservoir as quick as we, quickly as we can. Because that is going to help share the uh, fertility of the river areas. And we can spread it out into the desert a little bit more. Therefore, we can have more trees, we can have more uh, farms and all that kind of stuff. So that's going to be awesome if we can do that. Uh, we It looks like we're freezing again, so that's cool. Uh, we need to get some stuff from the market. Let's go ahead and grab some coal because that's one of the better um, eating resources for the town. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I can't afford this. Um, all right, 226. I'll grab 20 coal. That's going to take a little while to get here. Uh, you can see that it's got this little circly deal, and that when that finishes, and then the shipment arrives. And uh, so let's see what this is going to cost us: 439 robins or influence points, and, or 878 gold. Gold isn't going to happen. But I uh, see I didn't pay attention to this. This tile has a. Oh, I just thought it. it was three. Uh ah. So this tile here is a three disease frequency per year. I didn't notice anything particularly bad happening right away. It's because we had some medicine. So I did put in the medicinal herbs, which is right here. And that's working right now. Okay, we're just going to let this run, I think, and uh, we'll get our wood built up. And once we get some more wood built up, we can... What do we need for a bridge? 300 monies, okay. So it just costs money, it looks like. That's that's easy, that's easy to get. We can run a bridge across right here. I'm just going to put this road in for now. And that's where it's going to end up eventually. Let's run this guy down here like so. And we'll go... Let's see how far over we can make this. I'll run it right alongside the, uh, um, the mountain there. That should almost work. I'm gonna go, let's go as far down as we can and then cut over. Right there? Oh yeah, perfect. Okay. We'll bring that around. It looks like I, ooh, I didn't realize this. I can't go through this. Uh, there is a tunnel that we'll get eventually, which would be really nice right now. Uh, the one reason was through here, but I would, would, would have also not minded having it to go through this way and connect on this side as well. But we have to wait till we get to that point. Uh, we need a little bit more gold. Uh, to do uh, a couple more foresters. We have the two. We could have one over here, that which will grab this whole area of trees, which we'll need for sure. And you can see we're still only at one wood. Still hurting pretty good. I mean, actually, now it shows our consumption. So we're only plus, you know, 20. Ooh, we completed a quest. So we got cooperative fishing card that goes in your town hall. And that's the only one we have, so we might as well put it in there. Help us out a little bit. Let's, speaking of fish, let's see. Okay, so we are hurting on food now. 
So we're going to need another mushroom farm, probably. I think that, that that's going to be our primary um, means of food, is the mushrooms. So we have enough uh, influence points to push out more westerly, and I think we'll do that. We need 190 for that south one. That's fine. Uh, let's see if... We won't have enough wood to get anything, so we just need to wait for the wood to come back. Our fuel re reserves are also low now. So when it becomes winter time, we're going to be in trouble. So let's grab... We need to get the... Well, we need a forester. We also need to get our... What's it called? This guy, the charcoal burner. Get that going. Because I don't think we have that yet. And nope, we don't see it. So let's get this. That's going to help us... Not freeze to death in the winter time, which is uh, uh, awesome. Definitely need that. And we'll just sneak this up like that with the road here. And that'll work like so. Okay. I like... The one thing I like about the desert is that uh, it's clear by itself. I don't have to turn off the trees. So I like coming over here. We can see the trees. That's kind of neat. Kind of nice. Okay. So while that's happening, let's, uh, we got this. We're going to need to get this coal. So we have this area now where we can reach the coal mine. So once we get some more wood and we get a little gold, we can do some coal mines. So let me bring him back when we get that far and I'll see you in just a minute. All right, I figured out the trick for this is uh, we're going to be trading quite a bit. I had a surplus of uh, some stones. I traded those in for some gold and I bought some wood with that. So uh, I did just buy 200 wood, but uh, it's gone already. We are working on a tavern over here, so that uh, help increase the happiness because uh, nobody's happy around here. Uh, it also helps the mushroom farm to run for food. And uh, over on this side, we put down a uh, forester and a hunting lodge. Work on food and wood, obviously. And I needed a house over here, so that's why we have a house over here now. Over here, we started learning about mushroom log sterilization uh, that, which is going to decrease the mushroom farm's wood consumption by 50% and since wood is going to be one of our greatest commodities that I, have, I figured that'd be a pretty good one to grab so that's uh, in the works um, and it looks like we have a good amount of leather so 256 leather yeah it's just that's all it is it's not special of any kind so we can go ahead and sell some of that, and I think we'll do a little bit of leather. Let's see, what's the price? 6.7? Let's go half and half. So we'll do like so. Uh, this is going to cost, or going to gain us 760 monies. We'll do that right away. And uh, done cooldown, so we can't get the wood yet. But you can see here we got our money that we needed. I realize you can, you can place stuff like these guys without the uh without the resources but you kind of make a backlog then and uh that's gonna i feel like that's gonna cause problems eventually so i'm trying to not just spam buildings everywhere but we could really use that forester up and we're working let's see i think i can set priorities yep yeah so i got a star set that as a priority that means when we get wood it's gonna go over there so that'll be great once we get that working. We're still trying to work our way over here. We need... Oh, we can do the bridge. Let's do it right now. And we can have that money spent and allotted. There we go. Okay, now... Let's see what this range guy is. So we can do another... Oh, these are fruit trees. So we could do another forester, probably somewhere in here. As well as a fruit gatherer. Uh, for a little bit of extra food and that will just be good to have that as well and when we can reach the, the water here we can do another fish fishery one of these guys fishing lodge that's what it's called and uh yeah we're just growing along so we got our grade completed here let's grab the wood which is over here at the bottom because it's a w i'm going to just buy a bunch of this up we only have 917, so let's see how close we can get to that. 906? Let's do it up. So that is on the way. When you ship stuff out, when you trade stuff out, you get the money right away, but when you buy goods, it takes a little bit for the goods to get there. 
that's what we're waiting for here now. Uh, we'll get the wood, and hopefully they get some of these buildings built. And then we can work on moving over here. What is this, guys? That's Bureau and Employment Bureau. It doesn't look like they cost anything to build. So we might as well... Well, it's going to take up people to be employed there, I believe. So I'm going to not do that, I don't think. We'll wait on that. We did get the sterilization completed. And uh, I think this will be our next bit. We'll do the Ar Agricultural Revolution. Because of the farm, uh, the farm buff. And then once we get that, we can move into baking. Hmm. So it looks like... I was hoping that we could go down 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 and hit the irrigation uh but it looks like we can't do that so i'm gonna have to decide if we want to go uh the revolution or we go potatoes we'll have to go we'll have to go both eventually of course but uh, you know maybe we if we get the library we could invest in these two things and get uh, more tech going quickly quicker let's see we need 161 for that Hmm, what to do? I think we'll go with the beer brewing. The beer brewing is going to be good because uh, it's going to use up. Well, that, it's not good because it's going to use up. But it's going to use up a little bit of our wheat and or mushrooms, depending on what we decide to do for the brewery. Uh, and it's going to also provide uh, the, a first tier luxury item for these guys. That's this guy right here. And once that happens, the houses are going to upgrade. Then you're going to have more occupants. So that's just good overall. We do have a, we're 100 uh, plus 100 wood right now. So that's great. Over here, our forester is getting built, which is good. And it looks like a little over half of the materials needed for the hunting lodge are there. So that's a great start. Still at 78 gold, which is okay. Uh, we're a little low on our food. Okay, let's see if we can get to... There's the fruit gatherer I was talking about. Hmm. I want to grab it now. Sure. Let's grab it now. Do a cycle. Okay, I don't have to wait. Let's just see... Ooh, there's a lot of good fruit stuff up here. If I, I was thinking down here because I didn't realize that these were all fruit guys. See, we're only at 20. Let's see how good we can get this. 29, 32, 40, 56. Ooh, 56. Looks like 56 is going to be about our best one. What happens if we go over here? Yeah, 56. We'll put... Ooh, 58. We'll put that right there. And I'm hoping that this is this house can be close enough to this guy over here. I think I'm going to do a second uh, neighborhood over here. We'll just fill this area in with homes. And just work out over here as well. So the problem with this hunting lodge here now is our storage bins. These guys are too far away. Let's uh, give this a connection. And we'll go ahead and do a storage yard. This will be this is a good spot right here. Look at that. Fits in there just nicely. Okay, and that'll work great. So that's going to help this. It's going to help the forester. And it's going to help the fruit gatherer once it gets built. All right, let's we need to do some market trading. Let's see. We're at 87. Let's trade out some stone here. Uh, let's do this stone. And let's sell 100. Let's go a little bit more. An 80. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, I think as you sell and buy things, it changes the price here. It fluctuates. You got to keep an eye on that. You don't want to oversaturate on one thing and then it, that it's pretty much nothing. There's no value. So we sell it. So we don't want to do that. Okay, that's off. That's off and going. And now we, we, we're we doing pretty good on wood here. Now we're not in zero. We're not just sitting at zero. So that's great. So we should have somebody out bringing resources. Yep. So now we're waiting for a builder to get there. And then we'll have a little bit more food going. We are just barely in the green, it looks like. Once we get a little bit more food going, then we can get more villagers, and then we just keep growing like that. Let's check out over here. So we could burn up all of our gold. I don't want to do that, I don't think. But I do want to get this over here. 
Uh, let's see. We should do it. Let's get our coal. Let's see if we can find a coal um, uh, coal mine. A quarry. Okay, tavern. There, uh, iron mine. Mm, that's not quite what I wanted. Okay, let's just go with our wild card. And we'll say uh, coal. Oh. Why don't I have a coal mine? But I have coal here. Well, that's that's bamboozling. That's uh, that's no good. Okay, well, that kind of blows up that idea, I guess. We maybe we will just grab this province then. Hmm. Let's do since we're doing okay with wood. Let's put in another mushroom farm over here. Let's put it in line. Okay, that'll work. I'm gonna drag this road out just a touch. And then we can go... I'll put another mushroom one in here. It looks like... Looks like I can fit one more. I'll wait to do that. I'm gonna have a road going north and a road going south. The problem we're having now is we're a little short of full population. Um, and when we're this little, that means that we're having buildings that aren't being operated and we don't have enough people to do the building and gathering of other things while we're trying to construct. So... Uh, one remedy for that is to set priorities on what the, whatever building you want made quickly and what buildings you want to have always have people in. So I currently have that set for this forester. I am, and uh, that's about it because I, I left it when we were constructing it. And we, I have one person that's going around and they're building everything right now, which is okay. I don't need a whole crew. But see where now we have uh, laborers and builders, but we're six people seven people short being employed so there's two ways to remedy this when you see a little dialogue box that pops up that says hey so and so has x amount of uh immigrants they want to join your people you accept you accept that but you want to make sure that you have the housing for them and you want to make sure that you have the food for them and i have been denying everything because i was worried about the food but we're doing okay with food and the second way to remedy this is to go to your um, immigration office right here and put this in. I usually put these in right away because uh, it helps to grow your town a little bit quicker. Again, as long as you have the materials and resources to do so. So we'll put that in there and I'm going to make it a priority. We're, we're, we're doing okay with wood now. This last uh, forester put us over to where we're at a nice balance of not running completely dry. I did just uh, buy a little bit of wood a little while ago uh, just to uh, keep help stabilizing us and our stone is doing okay we could sell some more stone if we needed to but for now we're doing all right this immigration office has already got 42 out of 50 resources on on it which is great uh, we also completed our technology which gave us the beer brewing next thing we're going to move to is the uh well i want i thought it was gonna be the library I think you need both of these wood industry and beer brewing to get to the library. Uh, for whatever reason, I was thinking it was an or, not an and. So let's just go ahead and we'll learn, hmm, you know, stick, sticky choices again. Let's go with the, let's go with sheep ranch. Sheep ranch because we need all three of these to get to our agricultural revolution. We're going to need the sheep ranch next. And then we can start moving on from there. But it's almost there. It's almost completed. We'll have the... Oh, actually, let's let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go with the wood industry. We'll go with our same plan before as trying to get to the library to invest back into uh, quicker research times. Okay, so this is warning us about our herb and our medicine counts. Uh, we are aware of that. So we are at 80, so that means we're going to have to shift one of our farms from wheat to medicinal herbs uh, to accommodate the higher population of people. All right, our immigration office is working. You can see that this number is going up, and when it hits 100, you get an immigrant. Yeah, I think in our next episode, we're going to continue to maintain our wood balance, which we're going to need to do the whole throughout this whole playthrough. Uh, we're going to move over here, I think, grab this, and then we can gather all this nice wood up. And we can continue to expand our um, neighborhood down this way, down south. And we'll keep going west and north uh, with our mushroom farms.
So if you want to see that, that'll be coming up here in a couple of days. And I hope to see you on that video. I hope you have a great race of your day. And thanks for coming in and hanging out with me today.